welcome back to the channel. My name is Shannon with smartcruiser.com, your source for all things cruising. Today, I am bringing you another packing video and we are packing for a Europe Christmas market river cruise. All right, so I am going to start by packing my carry-on. Now I do have a long flight over to Europe tomorrow. I will be flying from Orlando to Atlanta, Atlanta to Paris, Paris to Munich. So I need to have a lot of goodies in here so I am ready for all of my flights tomorrow and I have everything that I need. So the first thing I do want to pack since it's an overnight flight is I want to pack a lounge outfit for myself because I want to have something comfortable to sleep in as well as my compression socks. Compression socks are great for long haul flights to keep that circulation moving in your legs so you don't get too stiff upon landing. So let's go ahead and pack these in here. I'm going to put them first in one of my um, compression packing cube bags here so that way it fits nice and easily. Open it up first. Okay, there, perfect. So now I have those socks and my shirt and sweatpants in here so I am nice and comfortable on my long flight and I'm just going to put that right inside. Okay, one thing I love about this Weekender bag from Base is they do have a spot for my laptop. I'm always working on these trips, so I'm just going to slide my laptop into here. And if I need it on the plane to get some work done and my laptop charger. So that is going to go in there. Actually, I think I'm going to put this in a different spot. Let me just slide it in here into the bottom of the bag. Okay, cool. So my laptop is all set and my charger is in here so I can keep working. Um, next thing I will go ahead and slide in actually so my neck pillow here for sleeping I'm just going to clip that on the outside of the bag so I'm just going to attach it right here and if you want it to stay a little bit further off the ground as well which I like to do in case I have to put my bag down is wrap it around a few times so it's up a little higher so I just put that right there perfect next thing I'm going to include is my Touchland hand sanitizer here it smells really good they have multiple different um, smells you can get and I bought this little traveling case for it because I have um, other Touchlands and I usually just throw them in the bag but I found this traveling case and I was like oh this is perfect because what I can do now on the inside here it is right here so I can just clip this right here so when I need my hand sanitizer I can just pull it out grab it out of here and it is good to go okay next thing I want to make sure that I have and that you absolutely need to like triple check before you leave is you need your passport and your vaccination card for right now um, if you have it if it's not required then you don't need it but I like to carry it just in case anywhere I am does require it so I have that my passport in this cover I have my global entry ID card in here and then I also have some cash that I'm going to exchange for euros when I'm at the airport another thing this is going to be a business trip for me so I'm sliding my business cards in here so I don't forget them another thing I always make sure to pack in my carry-on is a pen just in case you need to fill out any immigration forms that way you don't have to ask to borrow a pen I am going to bring my brand new Beats headphones. These are going to be great for noise canceling. The past few flights I've been on to Europe, there has been a lot of talking and a lot of babies crying or something like that. So I wanted to get really good noise canceling headphones so I can just relax on my flight. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. And one accessory that I am trying out for the first time on this trip that I am so excited for is my airfly now i got this on amazon and i will link to it in the description below my full amazon packing list store will be on there and what it is is a bluetooth connector to make your wireless headphones work on an airplane so you don't need to plug it into their headphone jacks you plug this in instead it makes them bluetooth and then this hooks up to my beats so we'll see how it works it should work it should work really well and yeah we're gonna give it a go okay one other thing I'm going to throw in is just this connector for my uh, laptop that's just an accessory I need for that 
I am going to bring a power bank. It's always good to make sure that you have extra battery, especially when you're making such long flights like I am tomorrow. I'm going to be traveling for like 18 hours. So I really want to make sure to have this. What is nice though is a lot of the airplanes will have the USB ports in their seats so I can still charge my phone using that. I do want to make sure to wear this tomorrow. It's my little airplane bracelet. So I'm just going to put it in here so I remember to put it on. It's my good luck airplane charm. So I'm going to throw in my recording stick so I can record for you all. I'm going to throw in my memory SD cards again so I can film. Uh, chapstick, always good for that dry air on an airplane, so I like to have that with me. I'm going to bring a European adapter um, just in case I need to charge anything in one of my connecting airports. I don't think I will, but it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So I'm going to toss that in here. Make sure when you are going to Europe, you always need European plug adapters. You can look up what type your specific country you're going to uses or just get a universal adapter that's my best recommendation again in my amazon packing list below okay next i am going to bring some eye masks for myself i'm going to put these on before we get off the airplane so i don't look so tired because i'm assuming i'll be tired after my eight hour flight to europe i did create a little medicine packet for myself so in here is tylenol alcohol wipes benadryl and bonine for motion sickness so i love this i came up with this idea this is brand new for this trip because i normally just put the medicine bottles in here in case i needed them but this kind of condenses it all and so i really like it i'm excited about this it's really cute so i'm just gonna throw that in here then just a little cleaner for my eyeglasses so. and my carry-on bag is good to go now there is room on the bottom for a couple pairs of shoes so i am going to put one or two pairs of shoes in here which will really help me on this trip um because i have a lot to pack for this trip i'm dressing for two completely different climates so we're going to be taking you all on a europe christmas market river cruise where it's going to be like 30 degrees in austria and then i get on a flight to dubai where it's going to be in the upper 70s so i'm going to be packing a lot for this trip. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move on to my checked luggage. Hopefully I just need one. It's always hit or miss, especially with this trip. I have to bring a lot because like I said, I'm going to 30 degree weather and then to high 70s. So I have to pack for everything as well as I have to bring a lot of filming equipment as well as like my hair stuff, my makeup. So this is going to be interesting. I normally feel like I have packing down, but I definitely feel like kind of a mess this time around. So I lay out all my clothes that I'm going to bring right here, which should be good. I don't know. I haven't even really put together outfits with these. I just brought pieces and hopefully I will work out okay there. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and start putting all of this into my packing cubes that I showed you before, my packing bags. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to separate them as best as I can between what I'm going to be needing and wearing in Dubai versus what I'm going to be wearing on the river cruise. So that way, hopefully at least there's a few things that I don't have to unpack or even touch when I'm on the river cruise. Um, and I can just know them that those are like my Dubai bags. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start putting all of these outfits into their packing cubes. And I have a winter coat, I have some blazers because I'll be there for work, a cardigan, a few nice dresses for Dubai, some jackets, some dresses for dinner because dinners are going to be a little bit more, not formal, but elegant casual on board for our Uniworld cruise. So I need to just make sure to have stuff for that, stuff for exploring the cities and Christmas markets during the day. So yeah, let's get started packing. shoes I'm bringing I'm bringing just my white slip-on vans I think those will be good for walking around Europe and then I am bringing just a pair of flat like loafers here for my work that way when we do dinners at night that are a little more formal that can be an option of something I wear so I've got a couple oh. shoes packed away now so that is good 
right, I'm just gonna keep packing all my clothes. My goal is to be able to get all my clothes into this side of my suitcase. Looking, I don't think that's gonna happen, but that's okay because I still have this whole other side. And normally my filming equipment doesn't take up too much space and my toiletry bag and hair accessories don't take up that much either. So let's see how this goes. We're just gonna keep going here. Okay, so I'm going to work on my first Dubai specific packing cube and I'm going to put on top a dress that I can wear in both Dubai and on the river cruise to one of the dinners. So that way that's very easy to access and then throw it back in my Dubai bag. So that is what I'm going to work on right now. I did get a lot of looser fitting clothing, light colors for the desert. And also when you go to Dubai, you can't have clothing that is too tight or revealing. So I got some new pants, I got a few new shirts and I did also get, whoa, I did also get a head wrap uh, or head scarf. So if needed or if asked to, I can wrap my head and my hair and not show that. Normally they won't ask you that, but it's only if you're going into like a mosque or a religious center that they will ask you to put this on. So I figured it was best to have one just in case. And I actually got this at Lululemon too, which is really nice. So that will be going in here as well. So what I did was I fit one of my winter coats over here, a blazer for work, and three pairs of additional pants I have over here. And that's about it for this side. However, I do think I might be able to get my tripod in like right here if I need to. I only have, I'm thinking one more packing cube and I should be good. So, cause I just have a few more things to put in here. Oh, it's hard. When you need to pack this much stuff, as well as filming equipment. If I didn't have to pack my filming equipment, I would have plenty of room in this suitcase, but when I have to pack like my tripods and stuff, it takes up space. And then my makeup and hair stuff as well. So let's see <clears throat> if I can get this dress in here, that will be really good. And then I have a few things I think I'm just not going to be able to bring because I can't fit it. So we're just still winging it. We're going to see and hope that this works out. That's good. So let me go ahead and I'm going to flip this and put this on this side. Oh boy. It takes up a lot of room. Can I fit this on top of it? If I could put this on top and get it zipped, that would be very helpful. Yes, I think I can. Perfect. Okay, cool. I have, I'm going to be wearing my gym shoes on the plane, so I'll have those. And then I'm going to pack a pair of heels for my dinners. That's all the shoes I need. Maybe one other pair of shoes, my other pair of tennis shoes I will bring. So let me go ahead and get those in here. Okay, one other thing I forgot to mention, I do have to bring winter weather gear, so I brought just a beanie, a pair of gloves, and a wool neck gaiter to keep me warm on those cold nights that we might be out in Europe. So those three things I also have to fit in here. I'm just gonna put them right here for now to find out where I find best for them. Another thing I'm going to be throwing in is my travel size lint roller. Oh yeah, I just push, push it up like this. And I can lint roll any outfits that I have, which is really nice. So I'm gonna throw that thing in here. I have more European plug adapters in here. And then I do also have a few Dr. Scholl's like heel relief pads that I got. So that should be nice. Hopefully these should help when I have to wear heels. The only time I'm going to be really wearing them is to dinners, so I shouldn't be too bad but just throw those right there my winter weather stuff we'll just put on top of these shoes i'm gonna have to take pictures of how i packed for when i have to repack last things i need i need my tripod and bathroom stuff 
Okay, so I'm going to bring my Joby. This is for filming, and I really can't decide whether or not I'm going to bring my big tripod. Um, I think not, but I might regret that. I don't know. Okay, so I have been getting a few of my bathroom accessories. I think I decided to just not bring my big filming tripod because it's just not going to work. It's not going to fit. Um, so I'm putting in here just my straightener. I'm skipping out on bringing my hair dryer in hopes that the cruise ship and the hotels I'm staying at will have one. Or I'll just let my hair dry naturally too just to save some space. I did put in here my skincare. I like to keep up with my skincare routine on the road since I travel a lot for work so that way I still feel like I have somewhat of a routine and I put my winter stuff around it to keep those bottles secure um so I still have a little bit of room I still need to pack my cosmetics bag and um some makeup but I don't think that's going to take up too much space so I actually think I'm pretty good for now I'm just not gonna have any room for anything else in this bag so yeah Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog here, this packing vlog. Basically for Europe, just make sure that you have comfortable clothes for walking around, warm clothes if you're going for the Christmas market, and then have good walking shoes because you're going to be walking on cobblestone streets a lot, so make sure you have that. I hope you enjoyed some of the accessories I showed you that I take in my carry-on to make my long flights more comfortable. They're amazing. I love them. So yeah, I think we're just going to wrap it up here, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see our trip to Europe because we are going on such a beautiful river cruise and I cannot wait to share it with you all. So I will see you all very soon.